What is up, guys? Check this out. It is the track. Track Tra bag handmade in Scotland. This company, Track T R A K K E, makes some really dope stuff. They've got an interesting aesthetic. They clearly have a point of view about carrying about with an outdoor with an outdoorsy vibe, using honest materials like this delicious wax canvas. This is a 30 liter travel bag. Okay, it's boxy. It's simple. It goes on with straps that can be sort of stowed away and hidden if you'd like. Now, I am about 5'10", okay? So here's what the bag looks like. I always cinch it up a bit, but then it kind of like looks a little bit too tall above. The good thing is, is I mean, it's just kind of a classic, stylish, very simple kind of look. It's like, it reminds me of Topo's gear, like Topo Designs in Colorado, except for it's got more of a focus on this wax canvas, old world materials that I really like. Okay, now I'm gonna walk you through every feature and nook and cranny on this bag, but first, here is my gist about this bag. First of all, we're talking about a 30 liter capacity, all right? It is perfect size for carry-on. It is so easy as a carry-on. You're never like stuffing and fluffing and it's like the perfect size. Fits right in the overhead compartment, easy to pull out. I think you wouldn't be able to get it under the seat in front of you unless it, it, it really wasn't packed very much. But that 30 liter size is like the perfect carry-on size for when you don't want hassles. Okay, number two, it's made from this killer waxed canvas. It's, oh, I really like it. It's just, I, there's something about wax canvas. It's for sure one of my favorite materials. It's so honest, it's so old school. It's gonna last a really long time. It's not as heavy or thick or, or violent as leather. It's, it's dope. I love this wax canvas and their webbing here, this polyester webbing that they use for the handles on uh, on the top and the side are just, are also, they just feel, it, the, the material choice is, it speaks volumes and they're great materials. Okay, because of the canvas is waxed and because all the zippers have water seal on them, my number three here is the water resistance of it. If that's an important thing to you, you got water resistance in this guy uh, that's, it's, it's strong. Not only is the outside uh, canvas the the cotton uh, actually wax but then there's like linings on the inside none of it is like full-on waterproof besides the wax i think in the cotton that that makes the water run off like like beads of water off the duck's back. Then honestly, number four, the point here is that this is just a very simple, honest bag. It does everything you need it to do. If you needed to do like a weekend away and put all your camping gear in one bag, this is such an awesome ba bag to do that in. I don't actually think I would love to use this as my one travel bag. I need a little more space typically, but for that application where it's just a long weekend and you just need to throw a couple things and like, a, a little tripod in there or whatever and you just need a bigger backpack i love what these guys make anytime you you have a use case for one of their bags just and like in like it's speaking to you you get it they're dope honestly you're gonna have this thing because it's so simple because the materials are so honest and they thought about this for the long haul you're gonna have it for a really long time so i love bags like this that's like my grandkids will probably find this in an attic somewhere now one thing before i forget right here's the outside of the bag on one side you have some webbing that you can apply a, a pouch to let me see if i can figure this out this is one of their lagun pouches which i uh i showcased in another video i did uh with their one of their ascent packs all right and then they have just this simple really simple like no moving pieces way of attaching to your bags like so now i honestly find it sort of hard to trust that just like pushing this up there but is gonna keep it safe and secure from just jiggles and stuff like that but like they assure me oh one of them's come off one of them's come off so i don't know what the deal is i i'm worried about this but they they say like no you just Attach it like that. The point I'm making though is is that, uh, and I'll probably put this on backwards, is that if you wanted to, you can have a little accessory pouch go over there using their strapping system or maybe other just like Molly straps that you've got. And that allows me to have, you know, one side of the bag just a little bit more 
um, a little bit more in terms of organization. And if I need to, when I get to where I'm going, I can, if I can stomach the idea of just like pulling this out, I got like a little pouch that I can, what I really want is I want to grab, I want to grab their hip pack here. I don't want to throw this on like this. And I want to have a damn fanny pack or a bum bag as it's known. So sweet, look at that, yeah. Yeah. I wanna do some videos of just like, just bum bags, just fanny packs. So, uh, you know, if you got any recommendations, put them in the comments. Okay, let's go around the outside of the bag and let me show you all the pockets. First of all, out front, you've got like their quick access pocket, which is great, diagonal sort of zipper to it. You've got a lot of space in here and when your bag's packed out, obviously you can see how flat it is. It would be nice to have a little dimension out here that, I don't know, that we could easily get into. If I, for instance, if I put my MacBook charger in here, it would just be a big block. So I end up just not using this except for in travel, throwing a headphones if I'm traveling by myself, boarding passes and throwing my phone when I go through security and stuff like that. It's really nice to have a pocket that's large that you can fit a lot of flat stuff like that in. Then going around the bag, you see at the top, we've got a nice handle, same handle on the side. These are super helpful, nice. They're on the right side. Like I always, I always do this where I'm coming around this side. Grab the handle, blood up, bam! I got a little too blood up, bam on that one. Okay, so we got the handle straps. Uh, the shoulder straps are nice. They're actually quite comfortable. They're rigid. I find that when a strap is rigid enough, that's what makes that weight go from just like one little space, like one side or the other on this thing and disperses it across the outside. So I like it uh, a lot. I like these straps quite a bit. And if you have this thing packed out, it's still gonna be comfortable. And the straps unclip from the bottom here and have a little place where you can store them away, like so. And so you don't have to see any of this stuff. Uh, useful if you're going for briefcase mode, which I basically never do, really, because I'm always traveling. If I have a backpack, like I'm, I'm if I can backpack it, I'm backpacking it, because hands-free, baby. <laughs> Laptop compartment up here. Okay, I've got my MacBook Pro in there, fits perfectly. Your bigger 16 inch stuff will probably fit as well. You'll also notice this bright orange lining on the inside that's super helpful. That's super helpful. That's not just a fancy little design thing. It's nice because it's a very unique, bright, very vibrant color, but it literally actually reflects light more so that when you're looking into different compartments of the bag, you can see more. That is all over every inside of this bag. Then on this side, like I showed you, uh, you've got some strapping, which they, I don't know about these, you guys. I don't know. What is amazing about them is there's no moving pieces, right? It's just like really thick, double layer, dope ass webbing. And then like, yeah, you just throw that in. You don't ever have to worry about, but it's like, because like nothing can break on this. Like this will last for a billion years. But it's like, I don't know, it's not foolproof. So let's go around here. Let's open it up. Let's see the main zipper. This is the only other thing on the bag to show. Open it up. Whoa! There's that bright, bright material, okay? And you've got pockets over here that actually do have a little dimension to them, okay? They've got about an inch of dimension 3D wise. Um, and I don't use it for anything. I just pack everything into the main compartment. But if you need to, if you wanna separate your shirts or something like that up here, you've got space to do that. I always do that with packing cubes, personally. Now, um, on top of this bag, you'll see I have a daily carry bag that I like to pack away inside. This bag doesn't have a lot of tech organization on the outside. So I just left all my tech stuff inside of here, except for my laptop. I need that in the outside of this bag so that I can quickly get through TSA. Dope, 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 dope. Then when I get to my airplane seat, I can pull this out quickly, throw it under the seat in front of me and I got everything I need for the flight right in there. You can see here, I've got a packing cube and then I just took a bunch of shirts and filled up the space because I didn't have a packing cube readily available that perfectly fit like what I needed here. So I just used my shirt rolls and just put them around. Pull those guys all out here and you can see, I mean, my packing cube's kind of large, right? And so it fits in there perfectly with plenty of space for other stuff. So here's the big 
big pouch on the bag, and then there's one more pocket up here at the top, okay? This is just like your perfect security pocket. It's the hardest place on the bag to get to, right? So uh, it, your passports and things can go right in here. Um, but like nice, you know, this is straight up just 30 layer, 30 liter block. Okay, so let's talk about some other bags you might wanna look into besides this store bag from Trek. Um, I would put it kind of close to a minimal travel bag, a smaller, on the, on the side of the smaller bag. So maybe the Manal carry-on, which was the first bag that ever got me into one bag travel. I like it because it's sleek. Like this bag, there's not a bunch of stuff hanging off the straps and like, like, like what they call uh, and Manal. They're like, we want to get rid of travel drag. So check out the Manal travel bag. And then also I would say that Wandered Provoke pack is like roughly the same. I mean, the Wandered 31 liter for travel is awesome. You could fit easily as much stuff as, as you saw here. Plus you could fit more and it's got a great set of like daily carry and tech organization stuff on it. And of course, what you really need to do is go to bagworks.co and find my one bag travel buyer's guide, okay? Where I list off all my favorite bags, things you need to consider when you're looking at a one bag travel bag. Um, and all of them have reviews, like all of them have reviews. Okay guys, hopefully you liked that, you liked this. Put your questions in the comments below and I will answer them as much as I am able to. Uh, I'd love to answer your questions about this bag. You know, I make bag videos like this because I hated the feeling of like trying to research a bag online or anything really. And uh, you get it and it's just not what you thought it was gonna be. So I make these reviews so that you can, you know, get a sense of, of what they're like. I do it on, on as many bags as I can. I'm trying to do it on more products as well. If you like that, please subscribe to my channel. And also if you purchase this bag or any others that you find from me, please use my link in the description here or at bagworks.co because some of these bag companies, not all of them, I get an affiliate relationship with with me, which means I get a couple bucks back when you purchase from it you, at no cost to you. So it's like a killer way of supporting the channel. It's a killer way for me to have a little independent business going uh, where I get to just kind of share my expertise on bags. Talk to you guys later. Happy travels. Be yourself. Make good choices. Honestly, life is so short. You got to find Find that thing that you really want to be doing, that you really like the feeling of. You've got to find it. Keep looking for it. And, uh, and if you've already found it, just keep making that space for it. Go hard. And who cares if it doesn't ever get successful? You're successful, motherfucker. Deal with it. Bye-bye. Ta-ta for now. Oh, no, I'm getting closer. Okay, goodbye. Bagworks.co Jacerees.net Those are the websites. I guess those are the websites. Yeah, yeah I guess so. Let's go check out what he's up to or something like that. Yeah, it looks nice.